with various types of 3D printing showing up in the headlines on a nearly daily basis. There's never been a better time to learn more about this exciting technology and start using it yourself. Considering the current and potential benefits the best 3D printers bring to the table, now is the time to grab one. You can use them to build complete products, make spare parts, or simply create things you'll find useful for your home, office, and workshop. In this video, we will take a look at what I think are the best 3D printers of 2021. And as always, to see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these printers, you can check out the links in the description below. We start in the list with the best budget 3D printer you can get currently, the Creality Ender 3 Pro. The Creality Ender 3 Pro is one of the most popular, popular filament-based 3D printers, attracting both beginners and budget-focused makers. The device ships unassembled and uses an open source design that makes it easily to modify. However, the great support and solid output quality of this printer also make it easy to use. Whether you're interested in buying your very first 3D printer or you're looking to set up a fleet for manufacturing, the Creality Ender 3 Pro is one of the best 3D printers you can buy. The Ender 3 Pro offers features that you don't find in more expensive 3D printers. A decent build volume of 220 to 220 to 250 mm, a, mag a magnetic bed, a power recovery mode, and a tight filament pathway that makes it easier to work with flexible materials. Thirdly, it just irons out some of the flaws of the Ender 3. The great thing about the Ender 3 Pro is that it is in fully open source. This means that if you're an experienced user, you could improve your printer and even share these changes with the wider community of users. It's also great for younger people wanting to start exploring the world of STEM. The Ender 3 Pro has a few more features than the Ender 3. It has an aluminum extrusion for the Y-axis base. This makes the printing surface much more stable. It also has a CMAG magnetic printing bed, flexible and removable. It allows you to remove your completed projects from the built plate with ease, avoiding the issue of the project sticking to the work surface. Next up, we have the best value one, the Flashforge Finder 3D. The Flashforge Finder is a nifty little number with compact features and a plug and plug simplicity that will regale all and any beginner. The PLA only support and limited build volume to weigh it down a little, but it remains a strong contender as an ideal first purchase 3D printer. The Finder is an open frame 3D printer with a single extruder. It's shaped like a cube but has rounded corners and beveled top edges. It measures 16.5 by 16.5 by 16.5 inches, of course in height, width and depth, and weighs 27 pounds. The build volume is a modest 5 to 5 by 5 to 5 by 5 to 5 inches. Flash Forge printers on average are safer to use, with their filaments output less harmful films in smaller amounts than the, ra the raisins do. This is the reason why Flashforge 3D printers are often used for educational purposes. Some of the devices are completely focused on providing a safe and simple workflow. Regarding other features, there are plenty. The print bed is removable and can be easily automatically leveled. The filament run out sensor helps to prevent being out of material. The controls include the touch screen with an intuitive user interface. It's placed on the frontal top side on the device. The finder 2.0 also boasts a Wi-Fi connectivity option which is rare among the 3D printers of this price range. It allows wireless printing as well as using cloud features providing by, by Flashforge. Besides the features it offers, the quality of the prints is pretty marvelous if we consider the price of the finder. Coming in next as the best Reason 3D printer, the Eligo Reason 3D Printer Mars 2 Pro. The Eligo Mars 2 Pro is worthwhile for everyone who wants to print fine details and does not need an XXL Reason printer. Even with very small models, the print result is excellent. It is also suitable for beginners and advanced because of its simple operation and the many features. The Mars 2 Pro has a slightly larger build of volume than that of the original Mars 2 printer and a metal reason that rather than the replaceable plastic version. Other differences outside of cost is the inclusion of an air filtration system and a rubber seal around the edges of the red acrylic cover. A simple but appreciated feature on the Illegal Mars 2 Pro is the inclusion of a max fill line on the reason tank to prevent spills when the build plate is fully submerged as well as a lip that acts as a spout when you need to pour away the unused reason post print.
After the part has finished printing, it has to be washed, separated from the support material and cured. Illigo manufactures a unit called the Mercury Plus, which has the ability to both wash and cure the printed resin parts. If you are value detail above all else and are looking for a printer for high quality miniature models, then the Mars 2 Pro is your friend. Next, we have the best all-rounder, the Anycubic Mega S. Anycubic is one of the printer brands known for its cheap 3D printing and an outstanding quality for what it's worth. The Anycubic Mega S is one of those machines that people can count on to deliver consistent, high quality prints with low error and easy operation. The Mega S from Anycubic is suitable for print objects with dimensions of up to 210 by 210 by 205 mm and weighs 13.6 kilograms. The total volume of the printer is 405 to 410 to 453 mm. It prints using the fused deposition modeling method and a layer resolution of up to 50 micrometers. It features a mechanical filament sensor that can detect automatically when your filament is running low. The extruder design newly will also handle flexible filament. Moreover, some other useful features like power recovery laws have now been included. Thanks to the Mega S's connectivity via USB stick or SD card, you can use a popular Cura software to make settings such as print speed or temperature for your objects and then transfer them to the printer. With additional software, you can also print your own designed models. However, this usually requires some practice. With a low price, a large build area and decent print quality, the Anycubic Mega S is a good choice for someone getting started in 3D printing. The assembly is minimal and could prove to be a fun project. Youngsters should be supervised when using it though. Due to its open frame, there is always the possibility of a burn should someone come into contact with the hot extruder. And last but not least, the best overall one, the Kitty Tech X Max. Kitty Tech lo loves pushing 3D printing technology to the edge, innovating every couple of years with new feature packed printers. The X Max is their largest 3D printer designed for both industrial use and presumers looking for the next big thing. Jumping right into this printer's strengths, the Kitty Tech X Max boasts an extra large print volume of 11.8 inches to 9.8 inches to 11.8 inches, totaling an incredible 1,364 cubic inches. Build enormous models from your choice of PLA, ABS, PC, Nylon, TPU, PETG and others by alternating between the two included extruders. Extruder A is an intended for low temperature and flexible materials like PLA, ABS and TPU. Extruder B reaches temperatures up to 300 Celsius and is used for abrasive filaments like PC and Nylon. The print quality of the KDE Tech X Packs is very good with 0.05 to 0.4 mm layer thickness. The XY accuracy of 0.011 mm in particular guarantees reproducibly accurate results. If you are keen to buy a dazzling and enticing 3D printer, Kitty Tech x Packs, with all its awesome features of stability and re reliability comes up with a superb print quality. All these features make your printing much more reliable and quick for your professional career. There is no real drawback that I can mention which discourages you from purchasing this product. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you found this video to be helpful and if you have any questions about the product mentioned in this video, you can leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Alright, take care and peace out.